What does Donald Trump have laying around his house? Uh, if only there was someone I could go to to find that. Oh, wait, that's right. You uh, actually went and uh, well, were hanging out let, in let, Donald let, Trump's house. Let me explain. Reagan and I uh, were, were talking about uh, ideas for different shows and whatnot. And I got a call from a realtor. Um, and it's funny, it, 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 it's a Malibu realtor. And he said, you know, I hear Steven Spielberg is listing his house and he has all this stuff in the house. And it's like goes through his whole career. I started thinking about it and thought, wouldn't it be interesting to do a life story of somebody told through the objects mm -hmm. in their home, right. from childhood to present, the objects they chose to keep, and talking to the person about each item and why they chose to keep it, what it represented in their life. And everyone and can relate to that. Everybody has stuff everybody's got the that house. Stuff. That, yeah. So we figured, who are we going to try it with? <laughs> ah, why not Donald Trump? <laughs> Shoot for so, the moon, and sometimes you land there. So yeah. um, in mid-September, we, we actually went there, and he agreed to let us do this. And, um, and so we went through his home. You even put on a suit for that. I put on a suit. Never and, ever seen you in a suit. And, you know, <laughs> he was extremely busy, but he carved out time for us. And we have created an hour special um, that is going to air on Fox News Channel Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. This Friday night, it is on at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 uh, Pacific. Saturday and Sunday, it's on at 8 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Pacific. And you will see uh, Donald Trump go from his childhood uh, to present and talk about all facets of his life. But all know? based on things that you, that things you walked in into the house home. and saw laying around the house. And we get into The Apprentice, we get into you know show business, we get into politics, how that all started, his childhood, we get into his kids, his wife, um, all sorts of things. This is just like a little taste, and this has to do with Donald Trump having gone to military school away from his family for five years, uh, when he was 13 through almost 18, uh, where he was uh, sent to military school. And, I, you know, we talked about it. I want to find out why. Well, my father thought it would be good for discipline reasons. That's a pretty extreme thing to send your kid away to upstate New York. What kind of discipline problems were you having? Well, I was just somebody that was rebellious. Did you resent your dad when he sent you? No, not at all. I understood. Did he sit you down and say, here's why? Well, he said, I want to shape you up. And then it got in, but really interesting because he talked about military school and how it changed his life and created this order and this passion, you know, for being goal oriented and, and, you know, all sorts of really surprising things on how he got from this little kid in Queens Who was to president trouble, of the United right? States. Huh. And it is a fascinating journey. And what I loved about it was it is a completely different person from the guy that you see in the campaign trail, from the guy, you know, who is now the president-elect. It is just a very conversational, candid look at his life. Huh. And Reagan, um, who was in the edit bay, we're just finishing it up. Reagan was there with me, and I gotta say, it was, you know, it was just super interesting. Yeah, it was eye-opening to, to a degree, guys. I'm here with Zach, we're in the bay right now. So uh, we've, been editing, we've been editing this thing. Uh, for a while now, but I mean, it's just, it's really interesting because you hear like, you know, you think of Donald Trump, you know, besides being the president elect, you know, just as this business tycoon, but like to hear that business was actually his like second choice of career, that right. he actually had dreams and aspirations to be something else. You know, like he, he just, he really opened right. up. And Good tease. I wonder what that thing is. Don't. Well, you're just gonna have to tune yeah. in. Way to go, Reagan. You just did the thing that we always <laughs> rip people when they come on the show and go like, and they go, oh, you're gonna have to tune in. I was personally proud of him. <laughs> of course you were. But it was interesting, uh, right? Yeah, and sorry, Harvey, I forget your co-host name at the moment, but uh. uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just, Reagan, it's really, oh, sorry, Reagan yeah. way to get wow. back in there. Wow. No, but uh, it's, wow. it's really just kind of a fascinating look. I mean, one, you get this, his home is is just filled with with you know articles and keepsakes that you know kind of help tell his life story and that that he cherishes. Uh, but like Harvey said, this is not Donald Trump, the politician. This is Donald Trump, you know, the father, the. Uh, the son, the uh, the grieving brother of, you know, of uh, like you, Donald goes into detail about his brother who tragically passed away, you know, and he really doesn't hold back. He, he really, you know, pulls back the curtain. You kind of get to see Donald Trump's in depth about Donald Trump's life. So yep. again, it is on Fox News Channel. Um, we're really proud of this because it's, it, it, it's just really 
uh, I don't know. It's a I cool way to do it. Hour. I think it's a cool way to, to like get into someone's personality in their life. I have a quick question. Um, uh, the special looks great. My uh, nephew is graduating to eighth grade in the spring. I was wondering where you got that suit from. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I'm not I have some good this. stories about that suit. Or about his second okay. option, that, second? Oh, which wasn't going to be the suit. Okay. Oh my God, okay. I've seen the okay. hideous okay. shirt. Okay. What? That Harvey actually held I, up and said, guys, should I wear please this? Please let me go. I'm okay. saying, no, no I'm, you're not going to tell way, me? No, Is I'll that I'll Brooks Brothers? No, but I'll tell you later, okay? I'll tell you later. Okay. By the way, all those objects now, did they check Reagan's pockets when you were walking out? No, they didn't believe The Secret Service first The Secret Service, that the Secret Service was all over the place. So well, those guys are, uh, they can see you. They're quite terrifying. <laughs> oh my God, tomorrow we're gonna tell you a story about Rachel, my assistant, who's one of the producers on this. Um, how Rachel, <laughs> Do you, we got you it. don't Reagan. embarrass Rachel. No, no, no. Reagan, it's fine we, to take a shot Reagan, at Reagan. We gotta but... tell the story about how this thing almost never happened because of one of these objects, right? Traumatic, uh, like I'm, we were borderline traumatized by this experience, but yeah, we'll, we'll tell you It's tomorrow. the best story. Okay, yeah. so, so the special is on Friday night, 10 o'clock uh, Eastern time, 10 p.m. Eastern, Saturday night and Sunday night, 8 p.m.